And I say that from so many aspects. This bill is going to take care of women's health. Women are actually going to be able to get health care when they're pregnant. I was denied health care when I was pregnant for my second child because we switched companies at the time and so switched insurance and it was a pre-existing condition. Never again will a woman in this country have to worry about not having a pregnancy coverage. the author of the bill that got rolled in as an amendment to the health care law that allows our young children to stay on their parents' oh, health insurance. Oh, oh, oh. So today we have millions of young men and women who have maybe graduated from high school or college and haven't gotten that job yet with that coverage and they can still go see a doctor when they need to. They don't have to go to the emergency room. They don't have to wait until they're very, very sick, but they can actually get the care that we all know that they need and deserve. Healthcare is a right. Yes. Healthcare is a right to every American. So when you go out there and talk, and someone pushes back on you and says, I don't know how you can tell me to vote for Barack Obama because he's not pro-life. I don't know how you can be a Democrat. You can turn on them and say, he is pro-life. He actually signed the most pro-life piece of legislation that this country has ever seen. And you can, tell, you can talk about statistics if you want. The Paul Ryan bill uh, budget, which now is the Romney Ryan budget, is going to have huge cuts to Medicaid. One third of all births in this country today are paid for by Medicaid. Now what is going to happen when 40% of that funding gets taken away? What's going to happen to the rate of abortion in this country? It's going to skyrocket. It is going to skyrocket under the Republican plan. And that is something we need to be talking about when people push back on this issue. What's going to happen to our elderly? Two thirds of our elderly depend on Medicaid to be in a nursing home. What's going to happen to all of those elderly men and women, and I have to say more women than men, when all of that funding gets cut, 40% of it? So when you look at the budget, the Romney Ryan budget, or you look at the health care bill, pro-life is on the side of the Democrats. Yes. yes. So, as a practicing Catholic, as a former member of Congress, of somebody who left Congress with my health head held so high, Good. I can yes. tell you the night. I wondered often why I was in Congress. I have to tell you that. Some nights I would call my husband and say, this place is crazy. I don't really know why I'm here. I do believe God wanted me to be here, but I'm not really sure why. So the night we were voting on the health care bill, and I sat there in my seat in the House of Representatives, it just came to me. And I said, God, this is why you wanted me here. Because I was one of the people who really helped push the bill over the finish line.